hello and very well welcome to the channel in today's video we are going to learn how we can integrate drop down port that is assisto lab drop down port into our ios project for example if you search on google and type drop down ios swift this will give you the link for assisto lab drop down in the second so here we will learn how we can implement this port for drop down into our IS app. It's a very easy and great tool to having a automatic drop down for your app and we don't need to do much thing about that. So we just need to install the pod and do some kind of things, little things and our drop down is ready. Instead of we need to create a table view and then create our all drop down stuff there. So for this we open a terminal as yes, we need to create a pod file. We we will navigate to our project. I already created a sample project here. So we'll go to the directory and here CD and then we say pod init. And it creates a port file here as you can see here right now and we say open minus a port file and it opens a port we go to the assist laptop on port documentation and here we are having this port drop down to your port file we will add save it and quit the port file and go to terminal and then do port install so it will install the drop down port to our app or our project and then we need to go to the directory and close this xcode project and now we will open this drop down xc workspace file and where we need to use drop down in our suppose in our view controller we will say import drop down so it's not coming at the moment let's say command b we build this project as you can see our drop down port is already installed here now let's try so here you can see drop down is coming now in order to show a drop down we will try an interface and here in our interface design using ui kit we are not using swift ui so ui view and here we'll say a view and here we'll say 20 pixels from here 20 and height will be 40 and we will align it to center let's change the background color to this system yellow and here our drop down board and now we will drag a label to it ui label so that we can show what is selected by the user into this view and here zero 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 now we will go to our view controller dot swift and create the ib outlet for both views so edit ib outlet we where vw drop down of type ui view and now a label ib outlet b where lbl title for type ui label now if we go to the documentation of this drop down so what we do it says just create an instance of drop down class so first let's connect our ib outlet because it's a necessary part and here at vl title is connected to the label and drop down view is connected 
to our container view this is view and here connect it to view drop down okay now as per the documentation let's create an instance of let drop down is equals to of type drop down okay and now the second part is we need to specify the dot anchor view for the drop down from where that drop down will be shown so here we will say in view did load drop down dot anchor view is equals to uh, vw dot drop down and lastly we need to specify the data source properties so for that let's say let data or you can drop down values is equals to we say string mango apple now keep it small mango apple banana and cherry and let's say like fruits array and now we'll say drop down dot data source is equals to this fruits array now let's run our app and see how it goes so build is succeeded Here you can see the app is running on simulator iPhone XR with the IS 14.0 and here we have label so when we click on it nothing happens so just to show now here you can see that to display we need to add drop down dots show so here what we'll do we'll add a UI button to it too so that here we will add UI button to our view drop down or either you can also use UI tap gesture it totally depends upon your requirements and your coding style and now we will create an IB action and create IB action functions show fruits options sender of type any and here we say drop down dot show and in main dot storyboard we will connect our IB action up inside and now I think we are ready to go and here you can see the array or drop down is showing but it's covering the label so here once it's selected we are hiding the drop down and this is automatic so here if you can see that when we tap on the view that our drop down view is getting covered so how we can do that it's also mentioned here for offset you can set the bottom and top offset so here just copy this and here we paste this down and for top offset we need to specify both of these in case you are using UI text field uh, to display that drop down because in UI text field we have a keyboard so it will automatically detect the keyboard height and then show the drop down at, the, at any type of direction you want if so here also you can customize the direction drop down dot direction is equals to dot any this is the default 
so if you want to the top then it's the drop down will be shown to the top of the view for which the drop down is added so here you can see now the drop down is shown to top and if I specify it to the bottom it's shown to the bottom of that view so here now label title dot text is equals to empty or you can say initially select uh, fruit and now how we know that selection is done so for this we have a closer or this property selection action and here we'll type it or copy paste it selection action and hit the selected item at index and here we will now say self dot lbl title dot text is equals to fruit array you can say index or it will also print the index item select a fruit here the list is shown and you can see now apple is shown in the label also here select item apple at index one and it's pre-selecting it now banana cherry so this is the simple drop down that you can use and add a drop down to your app in just five to ten seconds uh, ten minutes sorry